BYU in blue, Texas in white. Underway in our first national semifinal, and the Longhorns will strike first. The two players with the different colored jerseys are defenders only, the Libros, they cannot attack. The first thing to notice, Haley Eckerman in left front, Jen Hampson in, so we're going to have that matchup, those two hitting against each other a lot. Those two first-team All-Americans, leaders for their respective teams. Hampson a real handful at 6 feet 7 inches, and alongside her, the top block in the land. Texas is able to work off of it. Karch, it'll be interesting to see the different ways they try and attack, either over the top or through or around that block tonight. As Texas had to make some adjustments in the regional final last Saturday when three blockers went up for North Carolina on a lot of their hitters. The back set to Alexa Gray. She gets dug up by Collins. And into the net point BYU as we take a look at tonight's planning for success brought to you by Northwestern Mutual. BYU is going to have to serve really tough and build that wall, put up that two-person block anchored by Jen Hampson on the right. In fact, this play, she'll be on the right facing Eckerman. If Eckerman gets set, she won't run a bad pass. And then for Texas, they need a balance in their offense. That's not going to do it, that kind of pass there. They need a good pass to be able to get people like Chiaka Obagi going. They want to set the middle when they can. That point for Whitney Young, the sophomore out of Roberts, Idaho. Collins looking outside. Eckerman gets it through the block that included Hampson. Point Texas. You're right. Hampson is having trouble getting into the best spot right there. She's spending her eyes are going on the ball a little too long, not looking at the hitter quickly enough. Twice now, the Texas hitters have hit off Hampson's hands and out of bounds. Alohi Roberts Hardy to set outside and the roll shot for the kill to Tamron Nobles. And what a decision it was by Sean Olmstead and company to go to the freshman setter, her first start in the region final. And clearly, Olmstead and his staff saw something there, a big hole in the Texas defense. So they're hitting the roll shot, trying to find that space successfully that time. And then Eckerman hitting out, trying to avoid that tall block. Number 19, Jen Hansen at 6'7". And number 10, Amy Boswell at 6'4". Strongest block for BYU. Oh, you've got to serve in when you have a block like that available. Service error, Sierra Parker. As big as Hampson is, it is actually the other two, Amy Boswell, number two in the country in blocks, and Whitney Young, number one in the nation in blocks. Three very good weapons at the net. And now Eckerman with a strong serve and the ace for the Longhorns. Doing it up front as well as behind the line, Karch. And you know, it's so difficult when somebody hits it hard like that with a Haley Eckerman. She's been doing that all season, but BYU hasn't really faced much of that, and they don't face much of it in their own gym, so it's hard to make that quick adjustment. That's a better one, keeping the pass off the net. And Hampson gets the kill with the assist from Robbins Hardy. So watch, there's going to be a little space. Jen Hampson likes to hit a fairly fast set back there. The middle blocker, number five in white for Texas, the late arriving. Now, Hanson has a very different type of serve. At six foot seven, she's going to almost try to serve it down. She creates a nice play there, an easy point because of the offensive breakdown. It is now Nicole Dalton on to serve in the six to, or set rather in the six two offense, and that swing was from Amy Neal, real athletic but much shorter than the folks on the other side of the net at five ten. They'll go the other way this time to Cat Bell, who thunders one home. Well, what happened there was BYU's Tamper Nobles, number 15 in blue, got so interested in the middle that she is late arriving. You don't want to leave Cat Bell quite that much time. And on. Easy kill. These upperclassmen for Texas, members of that national championship team a couple of years ago. Here's Bell alongside of Bagu, the sophomore. Side to Hampson for the kill. Point BYU. And that's part of that one setter offense that three of the four teams here in the semifinals run. That time, BYU had a nice outlet setting Jen Hampson in the back court. And the set to the middle. Chaka Obagu, last year's Big 12 Freshman of the Year cards, this year a first team All American. 
and what a nice adjustment when she gets set and it's not fast enough and she's not ready to swing, then she drops that tip right over the middle blocker down for a kill. Jarrett Elliott, as well as you agree that this is much better Texas team when they have that balance from the middles, not relying solely on Eckerman. Good D from the Longhorns. And the net violation there for BYU Point Texas. Now, number 10, Boswell for BYU has to wait until some part of the ball is on her side of the net. She reached across Point Texas. Chloe Collins, the sophomore out of Cypress, Texas. Sent back to BYU. Here's Alexa Gray off the tape. Dug up in the back. And the block goes out wide. Point Texas on the swing from Amy Neal. So Amy Neal, the smaller, better ball control outside hitter for Texas, has actually a better matchup. She's hitting against the setter. Alohi Robbins Hardy, who's a shorter blocker. Nice matchup for Texas. Ooh, right into the teeth. I don't know if of Texas, defender, Neil. even with the explosive hitters they have, is used to somebody hitting that kind of shot. Neil was not ready at all. Sharp cross court, just heat coming out. And the response from Abadu. You've got a couple of physically swinging teams on either side tonight. This is exactly one of the keys for Texas. They want to establish that middle and get BYU's blockers thinking middle. And then earlier we saw how it opened up Cat Bell behind the setter. Seeing uh, initial indications of something about who can do, and that is take over a match if need be with that kind of athleticism. Will she get another one? She does, but the whistle this time on the Texas side of the net. Collins got into it. Point BYU. Now it's Aloe Robbins Hardy, the freshman from Honolulu, has been splitting time with the basketball team this fall. So Jennifer Hampson, not the only two sports star at BYU that's in the game right now. In transition for Texas. Ackerman sent right back. Young and Hampson. Two things I like about that play. Number one, the defense by Jen Hampson. She's probably the best tall all-around player in the game. She came up with the, the dig to keep it alive. And then, look at those hands across the net. That's the kind of stuff you can expect. The kind of blocking you can expect from BYU. Off the block from Prieto Cerami, the sophomore from Puerto Rico. A much better swing that time by Prieto, hitting high off the fingertips of the BYU block and low into the elbows like Heckerman's previous swing. Hampson off the block. Point BYU. This match, Kirch, could literally be elevated to a, a bit of a higher level just because of the size and the strength out there. And we Lots see that from the swing of Hampson. Absolutely. Not only the size, but the jumping of it, yeah. especially on the Texas side of the net. Outside of Ackerman. Slowed down by the block. Now BYU tries to set the middle young a little off the mark. And BYU, that's one thing that doesn't show up in the stat sheet, but that soft block gave BYU a really nice offensive opportunity. The control block doesn't show up, but when you have a good block, you'll also get a lot of those. You'll turn into, uh, into opportunities on offense on your side of the net. Good pass, Hampson, down the line and missed it. Point on horns. The Big 12 champions with the lead. Just a couple of losses during the regular season. The two seed had a nice road into this national semi with three of their four matches. Sweeps. He set to the middle McCage. Robbins Hardy was there. Hampson gets a full swing off the tape. Bumped outside by the Libra. Ackerman, that's returned to center. Haley will try again. Through the block. Nice set by Hampson. And the stuff. McCage and Bell, they're waiting. And this is Texas's version of the BYU right side block. Bell 
and the cage setting up in a nice spot, moving the block inside when the set went inside. Off the block and out, Point Texas or Point BYU, excuse me. Sierra Parker, the junior, back to serve. Darton now in the set, and Bell gets the point for Texas. Texas in front in set number one, best three of five for the national semis. In the 6-2 offense for Texas, that may be something they'll have to keep an eye on late. But recently, a few years ago, that cap was raised, yep. which is why you see more teams using that 6-2 offense. Good swing for Teal Welling, the senior from Beaverton, Oregon. Hampson now back to serve. The 6'7 senior out of Linden, Utah, who didn't play last year. She was busy taking the women's basketball team to the Sweet 16. And using a redshirt year that she is now available to play this season on the volleyball's uh, team. Bell had it blocked. The other side, Neal, tried to finesse it. Dalton goes back to Cat Bell. Into the double block of Boswell and Young. that Boswell did in the length of that rally she gets the touch she's almost on the ground to keep it alive and then look at how she now both blockers use their arms to jump getting up higher getting their hands across the net that's a tough play you gotta expect a tip on that that's it out of the back Hanson got a touch point BYU Watch the vision of Jen Hansen. She sees there's a little bit of line, but actually goes over the smaller blocker, Amy Neal. That's a good matchup at six foot seven against five foot ten Neal. A bit of a rally for the Cougars. They've evened it up here in the first of the national semis. According to both coaches, how will the block affect Texas? And right now they are being held to. 174 hitting. Remember, it's like a, a batting average in baseball. You'd love to be up over 300. That's a good number. Yep, and on the year, Texas is at all, as a team almost 286, so clearly way below that thanks to the tough serving and the good block of BYU, just what they wanted to do to keep themselves in this first set and in the bench. Robbins Hardy all the way across court. Nobles had to push it over. Here comes Texas. Big high set outside the bell hammers it off the block point texas so far she's had a lot of success hitting off that end blocker right off or over the right hand of number 15 in that case tamper a couple of points in a row out of the timeout for texas make it three straight double contact on byu and now the timeout for sean olmstead so three straight for BYU prompts a timeout, and now three straight for Texas gets a T.O. First set, we're playing to 25, have to win by two. Well, the NCAA Volleyball National Final will take place on Saturday night right here at Chesapeake Energy Arena in Oklahoma City, 7.30 Eastern on ESPN2. Who will take home the trophy? Will it be a third for Texas? Will it be a first for BYU? Or will it be a record-setting number seven for Stanford or Penn State? Penn State are your defending champs. And for BYU, the first time in history that a team has knocked out three seeds to advance to the semis, including that really impressive win over Nebraska after the Huskers had knocked out the three-seed Washington the night before. All part of that Seattle Regional, that was a tough one. Jen Hampson, particularly good against Florida State, lighting it up offensively along with her strong block. What a moment for Sean Olmstead, whose sister, by the way, is a member of his coaching staff. He's a former BYU player and national champion. Six sisters, as a matter of fact, in the Olmstead family. He was so kind today when he accepted his National Coach of the Year award. He said, my sister Heather, thank you to BYU for letting me to hire her. She's twice the coach I am, better assistant than all I could ever be. 
and what a team they've turned out to be. And of course, there's also the, uh, the uh, patriarch of that family, their dad, Rick, who is a uh, well-known official in the business and also happened to be your coach in high school in Southern California. A great coach in his own right, which got Sean on the path to where he is coaching in the national semifinals in CAAs. National Coach of the Year's got a like coming out of that timeout and scoring a point and getting the ball to Hampson. And of course, BYU also got to be happy that they have an All-American like Alexa Gray, WCC Player of the Year, Conference Player of the Year, back into the front row where they can set her, maybe on plays like this. Here she is, number nine and blue. There it is. Got it. She presents some really big challenges for opposing blocks and defenses because she can contact the ball at a high point, go over the block like that, and then earlier we saw her crush one sharp angle, keeping that defense off balance. Good move. And by the Gray. solo block. Solo is right. Where Cat Bell's had her most success is hitting high line. This time she tries to go low angle, and Alexa Gray making a nice move. Now four blocks at least, four stuffs for BYU. Poor pass, another opportunity for BYU here. Cougs working on three straight points. Back to Gray, through the block. And BYU is in front in the opening set. That's a good tough serve. Nice tip on that play from Abagu in the middle. Point Texas. Has that ability to hang in the air cards and read what the defense is doing. Yeah, and watching Texas in warm-ups, they weren't connecting as well with their middles when Nicole Dalton, number seven, was setting. So if I were BYU, I'd be looking for a lot of misconnections and lots of junk shots like that last one. Dalton now is rotated out. Collins is on the set for Texas. Nice up in the backcourt for Texas. Chloe runs it down, sets up Amy Neal, but it's sent right back by BYU. And that takes BYU to five stuffs in this set alone, and we're not even at, we just got to 20 points. Just what they wanted to accomplish. And that block creates an off-speed shot like that. Very tentative swing by Texas. Back to Gray, and that's rejected. A bongo up there and waiting. Point Texas to tie it up. Gray trying to cut it a little too low, a little too sharp. You want to hit it Neil when you take a swing out there. She's the much better blocker to aim at. Chaka, her fourth kill. And you know when you have a big block for BYU, the best way to avoid it is set right here, one on one. Not a perfect set, but the connection is good enough. Much more daylight to hit at when you only have one blocker to face. Gray tools the block, point BYU. Nicely executed by Get Gray to get back to the smarter area of the court. She hit at the weaker blocker, which is almost always not the middle blocker. Collins tried to get it out to Prieto Sarame. This is Gray with a swing. And the point. And now BYU, three points from the opening set. And Coach Elliott is not happy, thought that that should have been a mishandled ball. That last set put up by Robbins Hardy. Overpass. BYU can't put it away. Chance for Eckerman and the response from the All-American. Missed opportunity there for the Cougars. Huge missed opportunity. Anytime you have an overpass, you got to put it away with authority. BYU didn't. Let's Texas off the hook after the server did her job almost perfectly. Up to Robbins Hardy. Now Hampson in the front. Well, that's about four or five times, Beth, we've seen BYU hitters go right over Texas blockers. Very physical 
play not only on the Texas side of the net, but BYU with Hampson and Gray also. Seventh kill for Hampson in the opener. Eckerman off the block. Point Longhorns. And now the substitution on the Texas side as the setters switch here in this 6-2. Now it's Dalton on, and she will serve. Yep, two players about every three rotations, not about every three rotations, two new players come in, a new setter and a new opposite. Cat Bell coming on with Dalton in this case. Back set, Hampson. Kill number eight, and now it's set point BYU. These are such smart swings, Beth. When you hit high and in, hit into the last five feet of the court, it takes the block completely out of play. Dalton looking for Eckerman. Set back, and the Cougars take the opener. BYU builds the foundation for that brick wall in the opener, and why not us? The cry from the BYU faithful. 